Welcome back to the Mr. Shire. And this time we are on the loading screen for Scream. Uh, for Aurea. But we will uh, finish that fairly soon. And then. That takes forever. I think I have to change that drive at some point. Alright. Because that's like how old? Five years? At least. Maybe even older than that. So. Alright, yeah, what was I? Uh, doing this, improving the build, because uh, I know that the energy shield build is supposed to have more. Far more energy uh, shield than the one that I have right now. Like, 1200 does not seem much at all like could be could, could be far better um yeah and to use that i also need the script for that so let's just open the folder real quick so where is it um there's one over there then we have right no no don't want to open multiple folders oh, i hit that one's happened so where is it this one and yeah we run item info the moment we actually need anything so and also I wanted to change the transparency of good and or bad items depending on yeah how well they perform will perform uh with that amount of uh item level. So yeah, we got that. Oh the dying what was it I wanted to do? That was something else. Uh, I also uh kind of adjusted or well, I tried to adjust uh with the with the uh, like calculator or like manager. Anyway, uh, the thing that lets you build your own builds uh, in this game. So I know that I can get how many more points? I'm level uh, da, 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 uh, 18 more points, and like uh, this one will definitely be one. Then I'm going Dane uh, and get these at least for the speed. Maybe in this one, but I'm not quite sure. Anyway, these are also taken. Then there will be. Maybe even those. Like, I, I'm not quite sure if I should take them or not. Um, but I think last time I tried to nothing really happen. Anyway, um, and also the build featured these uh, cold points. Or did it? I, I, damn it. I don't know, because I adjusted it. Um, I used them previously. Then I thought, yeah, okay, you actually don't need 12% increased cold damage if you... Uh, have like just the same amount just in terms of spell damage like cold just means the, the cold damage could be done by weapons and uh, spell uh, like attacks weapon and spell attacks yeah weapon and spell hits it's called that uh, weapon and spell hit skills um, whereas this one only uh, is useful for the spell damage but if I just use the spell damage instead might be better mm, overall and everything and also i could get rid of either these four points because they're not needed like this one is definitely not needed um uh, because i wanted to uh use it as a connection node for these uh, i don't use it though so anymore so i can yeah i can also rid of it but then what else was it i wanted to do there was that was that was that was that was that was no nothing over here uh something more about like bonus energy shield yeah i also got those points and i think i got at least this one or this one no uh all of those this one this one this one this one these four points uh to increase the passes a little more the thing is i I have to look for the amount of energy shield that I do have at the moment. So energy shield recharge per second. Maximum energy shield is uh, 1,280. That's nice. Um, I would rather see a split of or like a more in-depth information on that. Like you got fire resistance, you got your cap, you got your... Um, okay, the cap, you know that it's 75%. But anyway, you got your resistance at the moment and you got your... Uh, yeah, fire or like resistance points, uh, and like the ones on your uh, items that are not really affected uh, by anything in the game because they're just like overcapped. So, um, they're kind of like buffer points for curses. That's 
what they are actually for. Anyway, um, so then we have the energy shield stuff and recharge and whatnot, but this is just the uh, value at the end, so you don't really know what actually went in there. Would be nice to see like a uh, flat energy shield, then there's like a uh, yeah combined energy shield at the end, kind of like just a little thing there. That would be sweet. Like it, that would be nice to see a tick mark over here, like in-depth information tick, and then pff, the whole values will be a little more useful um because that alone doesn't tell you where you need to improve that because there's like flat energy shield that um gets multiplied with the so and so much to uh or like increased energy shield with oh come on where is it there you go this one for example 49 percent higher increased uh higher increased energy 49 percent increased energy shield and then of course um yeah, there are all these other nice values. The thing right now is I have no idea uh, what will happen if I get rid of those. Actually, I know what will happen. So let's just go back here in the hideout. And yeah, what what could I do? Like I could either, huh, I could use the chaos uh, to make the build a little better. That could help a lot. So, because I already had, what, do, what was it, what was it, what was it, this one. Uh, something with slightly higher energy shield. It's not that high, actually. I have to, I have to check on that. So, let's see. Yeah. Come on, auto hotkey. Just do it. It's already running? I think so. It doesn't need any initialization. Whoa. What happened here? It's all over the place. Usually, the, there we go. The, uh, the information is usually uh, sorted or like uh, struck to a table structure. This one, okay, no, it's not. So it had to load, I think. Maybe this was the reason. I just used it before the whole script was even loaded. So, yeah, now it uh, looks more pleasant to the eye. So, uh, yeah, maximum energy shield. Mm hmm. Could be a little higher. Then we have uh, increased armor and energy shield, which could also be way higher. Um, it's very low, to be honest. Very, very low. Um, and I could maybe even re-roll this one. Thing is, what happens to my master crafting when I do that? Hmm. Okay, and also, what kind of item level does it have? Uh, this one has a 75 item level. And I can... Okay, I do get the items of like 75. So this is the maximum of... Uh, of uh, affixes. Maximum level of affixes I can put on it. Uh, so that means no ADs or something. Um, Alright. Good to know. Now what happens if I reroll it? Or I just ignore it and take some more items, collect them and use them. Uh, because that might be the slightly better solution for that. So maximum energy shield, yeah, maximum energy shield 55, but it could be uh, also with a maximum of like 80 or like something closer to 80, like 70 something. Uh, same for the health portion. That's rather bad if you look at it. Intelligence, okay, it's medium. Everything else, yeah. But for this, it definitely does not feature the good values on it. So... Uh, right, because what I want to do is have something with higher energy shield value. Well. So... And also maybe finish the dailies yes, because... Yeah, Next. we can have to ask if you give me more favor. So let's just do this. Do, 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 do. And also, uh, I find out that the there's a golem that increases health regeneration. Um, things we, we don't really need health regeneration. We need something that kind of maybe lowers the damage. Uh, so it's a chaos golem instead of the. Oh right, wait, shit! Uh, I didn't even look at the to the right. Okay, to the right, to the right, to the right. Now. You... I just hope we can find them fairly quick, right? What kind of thing is that? Very easy to kill. 
Actually, not that easy to kill. What is that? Resists, of course, elemental damage. Chromatic orb. Anyway, we're not here to kill monsters. We are here to... What level is that? 61. Uh, keep the target alive. Open the chest. Okay, this must be the target then. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I almost got killed here. Come on, open it up, open it up, open it up. Okay, you've done it. So, I, sh I should have checked uh, to see how much I can actually gain from this. Nice sapphire ring, though. Right? So, how much is there? Uh, 49,000. Sweet. Maybe you get even like 30,000. Uh, so, yeah, let's let's just look at Haku. Uh, 110. Thousand. So let's just do his daily real quick. And this one has to go down there. Good. Hmm. I'm not quite sure if that's any good or not. Yeah, uh, the stats were pretty neat. And it also utilizes the bonus damage fairly well. That has nice uh, resistances on it. Uh, what kind of level is that? 63. Well, yeah. We don't need that. So let's just sell it real quick. Oh, shite. Uh, and also sell maybe this one. Fate will find you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fate always finds anyone. So uh, 110,000. That was the thing there. So let's just do that real quick. 110,000. And again, we are in yeah, some kind of ruin level. Like bright ruin level sun thingy. The interior looks fairly bright as well. So, why do I have to go in which level is that? 65. Oh. Ooh, needy. Okay, wait. This is the exit. We have to go forward. I was actually looking for the... Oh, for the door here. Okay, that's not the way to go. One minute and thirty. Let's hope the timer stops at some point. And the timer, of course, does not stop. Wait, the timer goes up to one minute and thirty again. And there's also this, like push away or I would bring the power speak back to the entrance. Oh. Somewhere it has to go. What does it do? Ah, uh, you have the car respeak. <laughs> oh, chaos orb. Now look. Look at that. So, and we got the blacksmith thingy. Interesting. Do, 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 do. I so, how much did I get? Uh, yeah, 12,000. So, 14. No, 13 something. So, it's maybe 12,000 and some arbitrary mine. I have to look at that. Uh, what about the favor gains for the what daily mission? You, exile? How much do you get from them? Hello. Hey, are you? Hmm, yeah, increased spell damage, da 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 and nope, and no, we don't do that, we also don't go for armor, the I idea for armor is basically just to reduce the incoming damage, um, but yeah, if I, if I go for armor, then I will also lose some energy shield potential there, that's, that's the thing. Uh, and at the moment I do have so and so God much, uh, increased day. armor. Would be instead of slightly wasteful, not utilize it. It's fullest. All right, the first one, single one, and this one. Do 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 do. Also, I thought about using the mind over matter node again because I, I kind of like it uh, in conjunction with the. Ascendancy skill that turns 30% of your mana into health or like energy shield. 
pretty neat. But only if you actually have enough of those. Come on. 10 more seconds and I'm good. Alright. So another nice day to finish. It's us all them, Crusade. Us all them, yeah. Us all them. Might also be the same voiceover. <laughs> so, let's do our mission. And, okay, we get evasion rating. Well, we don't then. need evasion rating. Fate will find you. And onward. It's, it's probably another time Still mission, same. right? Probably. There's a horde of corrupted corrupted. Say the corrupted mind. Oh, nothing about a uh, timey thing. That's nice. That is really, really nice. So, yeah, let's just do that for a moment. And stats. And everything's fine. Good. And the other one. And, the, and stats. And everything's fine. Perfect. So. I like it when the mission is not timed, so you can just pace slowly, surely. That's cool. Oh yeah, you get more blue items. And these are the ones that I try to change. Like, I, what could I do? Um, I, I need to adjust the filter to get some nice high level normal gear that I can use the alchemy orb on. Because I do have a lot of alchemy orbs, it's easy for me to get those. Um, yeah, because I usually sell components for it. And rather than using the chaos orb on one and the same item, I can just do this. So, oh, 13 out of so and so many. Done. Uh oh. Yeah, what, what about Spell Cascade? Uh, I wanted to see that one in action again. Uh, there's no Spell Cascade over here. Efficacy, we can increase this stuff. Uh, concentrated Effect. And this one has Spell Cascade. So let's put that on. Uh, more area damage, less area of effect. And more Spell Oh, <gasps> shite. That's not good. And this is what you get if you try to adjust your build. Okay. Critical strike chance. Let's get this way here. Like it's 3,200. Now it's still. Okay, so it's like 300 damage. Increase critical strike chance here. So let's just put this over here. And this one will be put up there. And it does not seem to work. Interesting. Isn't it supposed to work? Supported spell skills that apply an effect to an area around a targeted location. Okay. Cannot support ball skills, minion skills. All skills used by Tom. Okay, that was uh, that was there was something about it. Damn. Um there was something about it. But what it Oh, I think I got a nice idea. I think I got a real nice idea for it. So if I uh instead of storm call Use uh, no, not ice spear, but something else. Damn it! Don't I have any other nice abilities here? Because this is AOE, but it I think wouldn't work with it. So let's just uh, do this. And nope, that one doesn't work either. I need something with a field on it. So uh, like the ice explosion thingy that could work. This one has to be wait. Uh, this skill again. All right, I think that's good. So, damn it, I died. That was that, that was definitely not great, but I did not lose that much experience for it. <laughs> oh, shit, embarrassing. So. Ooh, nice. So, the other thing could be, like... Ignition. Yeah, the ignition thingy. I could try this one. Let's see if that's any good. Oh, that would be so sweet. 
Yeah, what was it? It does not support any... Damn it. I, I still want to use this cascade. Uh, or skills used by totem straps or mi mines. Yeah. That's the thing. I like it. I just kind of... Ugh. The fact that totems can't use it is... Shite. Um, but yeah, fire blast. Uh, let's just fire blast on it. See what happens. Uh, there we go, the fire blast. And of course, this one totally gets away with it. Um, so, elemental proliferation. Cascade, faster casting. Okay, let's put this on here. This will be here. And got that one again. Flame blast was supposed to be with glacial cascade. Actually, storm call can be put on that again. All right, so I just uh, switched the main skills here. So uh, it's that one. It's only supported by two skills. That's interesting. So it's AOE for channeling, faster casting, and spell cascade. So spell cascade does not work with flame blast. Very interesting. Um. Okay, minion skills or skills used by totems, traps, or mines. Support spell skills that apply an effect to an area around a target location. Cannot support bar skills, minion skills, or skills used by totems. And flame blast looks like it doesn't work. Because it has the channeling spell on it, and maybe, yeah, you can't do that either. Oh, come on! Oh, come on. I just wanted it to work. That would have been so nice. So. All right. Which one is it? This one. It's, it, it's just so cool if you do that. That's, that's so neat. So, anyway, let's just go back to the Glacial Cascade. Ah, oh, come on. Nice spear. That, that's the only thing but, say, projectile, and that makes it. A little iffy. So, back to basics. And then there are still some minions left to destroy. Oh, shite. Um, this one goes up here. And this one will be uh, this one. Is that this one? Good. Yeah. Oh, oh. Need okay, 26 out of 70 done. Hmm, another nice green. I think I have to go back just to sell some items here, but eh. actually, do I sell? Sh should I sell them or should I rather just? Oh, nice one. And this one is a six link. Oh, perfect. It it's not a six link, it's a six socket. Four link, though. That's pretty good. Ah. Oh. 130 on it as well, and also increased spell damage. I like it. Hmm. Hmm. I'd say I would just have like double the amount of effective health at the moment. I only have a physical reduction of. Yeah, the, the spell resistance we just ignore because. It will always be there, but let's say I would have a effective health at least against no physical damage London. that's higher than one at the moment. Okay, done. But why does this one not work? Wait a second, this one goes up here, and this one's supposed to go kind of like that. Uh, goes down there, goes down there, goes like this, and yeah, that's it. So, bone circlet still can be used, and then you've now 30,000. Definitely not casting fast enough. Okay, what else could I use with? Totems and AOE and stuff, something like instant damage or something like that. That could work. Yeah, let's gain additional physical damage reduction for each charge. Yeah, it's like four percent each time, right? Hmm. 
Because mm. I have to say that I'm missing the 50% mana reduction for skills to use. So anyway, we got the master done. This area was featuring the beach, yeah. Uh, featured some frost-ish kind of damage, so have to be very careful here. What else is there? Uh, players are cursed with elemental ailments and monsters are hexproof and let's just uh, quickly exit this one. Monsters are hexproof. Increased quantity of items found. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, damn it. Uh oh, not good. Okay, if I actually turn around and uh, another one and try to go uh, the other uh, the other way around the circle, around the like circle around the enemy, the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> um then it's more likely for it to hit me with projectiles because the position it is aiming on would always be slightly behind me so never ever turn around if you do something like this always go f uh -oh, forward okay is it finally done I think so. Any moment. All right. I am no beast of burden. Ha! Huh, yeah, that we got uh, that problem right now. Hmm. Colonel boots. Uh, these got evasion shield and uh, other stuff, but uh, this is a bow. This isn't stuff. Uh, and evasion shield class for it. Actually, I'm not that interested in those. But the thing is, I have four socket, uh, four slots available to me, and I. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's only a line basically of items that I can fill in. So it's not even this one, not even the sockets. Uh, hmm. Could I maybe change that around a little, like so? Nah, it wouldn't. It, it wouldn't really do much. Now it's just uh, slightly separated. So what if I put this up here then? Instead of the two-handed weapon, I will have uh, this one. Mm. And then I would also have maybe the Shagreen Gloves. Whatever these are. 75, okay. It's definitely another blue. Neutrally. And... Uh, this one goes down there. This one goes down there. Now this one can be put up... Actually, no. This one can be put like that. And this one is always next to the full link over here. And now, actually nothing happens. Uh, yeah, either two fours or this one here. So let's, let's just go for two items instead of one because that's better. Or almost always. So let's just go back, finish the mission. I think we're on the brink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred and thirty-four thousand. So it's just five additional encounters, and we're done need so then uh let's explore identify hello all of those i uh, explore the buffs on them so yeah this is intelligence cold resistance no um hmm hmm accuracy da, 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 32 percent to lightning resistance increased stun and block recovery increased light radius yeah this is the spell that that's so nice. Um let's just sell that. Uh same for the weapons. I don't go for those. Then what about this one? This is evasion rating. This is energy shield evasion rating. It's kinda neat though. But it has very low values on it. Same for this one here. Same. Uh, it has some resistances on it. This one I will turn into uh yeah, an all to elemental resistance can also be changed. And yeah, as I said, this one will be changed into that kind of thing. 
Uh, increased spell damage, intelligence, increased energy. Ooh, 231. Only, by the way. Um, hmm. Hmm. Compared to the one that I use at the moment, I would lose I earn some cold damage. Um, what was it? Fire, cold, lightning. This is the order of them. Like fire, I do have a lot. Cold and lightning is a little bit missing. But I would then have a little more lightning. I would have the cap again. And I could put maybe some cold resistance on it afterwards. So. Alright, but 78% actually sounds a, like a lot. Right? I hope so. So, what else we got? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because the uh, like bonus defense stats are always prefixes. Or something about those. And prefixes is what we need. So yeah, this one. And still has checked it. Nah, there we go. So, uh, 37. Da -da 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 -da. So it's an eye level of 60, and it could st still be slightly higher than it. Like, it, it's it's a high uh, tier 4. Very high tier 4, there's just 20 of those missing. Okay, so let's uh, maybe turn this into maximum life. We don't need maximum life, also this one not so much. Um, uh, maximum energy shield. There we go. That could be a good one. Hmm, 69 bonus energy shield. Yeah, there it is. In. This one has a 231. This one has a 149. Um, the other one that I had in my inventory, this one has 207 only. And it's also maxed out. So yeah, uh, what about this one? Two, three, four. Uh, it needs two upgrades on it. It can only be master crafted ones, right? I cannot master craft it twice, that's the thing. Ah, uh, shite, so I have, would have to re-roll it. Can I master craft twice? Master craft? Master, master crafting. There we go. That's the thing. Because there are two mods open, but uh, adding craft. There we go. Uh, each bench offers a list. Da, 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 da. Uh, crafting a mod follows the normal affix rules specifically. Good. Item cannot already have a mod of that type, and the item must have a prefix or suffix slot open. So, da, 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 da. Uh, only one crafted mod may be added to an item. The crafted mod is shown in a brighter color uh, than normal mods. Crafting a mod. Da, 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 da. So, then there's the removes all properties from an item thing. That might be a very good uh, solution for it. So, let's just do this. Use the orb of scoring. And use the alchemy orb again. Like this. This is basically like going for chaos. Like orbs of, orbs of scoring uh, are... Uh, like they are one... Yeah, one uh, slot before the reset point, like, yeah, passive point reset. Um, passive skill point reset, reset passive skill point. Anyway, the other one. Uh, and I need like three or four of them or two. I don't know how many I need, but I need a lot. And I can get auto scoring fairly quickly. So let's just, uh, yeah, we did this. Uh, let's just go for that. And we got 22 to uh, maximum energy shield, which is not that good. Um, really bad. So let's uh, do that again. And this one again. So, lightning resistance, maximum mana. No, we aren't going for that. And could I? No. So let's go for that one. And this one again. It does not seem like a lot. Uh... Maximum energy shield T7. We don't need that. Okay, let's try. What kind of level is that anyway? 73, it's pretty decent. Fire resistance, cold resistance. 43 to energy shield. That sounds good. So the maximum eye level 75 is 100. So... Uh, 
I want a bit more than that. Actually, I should go for uh, look for energy shield just in case uh, to see what a nice base is. And uh, energy shield because there are some items that have like bonus energy shield on them already. So increase movement speed, hidden, increase da 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 da. Um. So unique uh, list of unique. No, I don't need unique uniques. Um, I'm only interested in like standard bases. I think there's nothing like that. Then there are of course the passive skill points and the ascendancy skills, and then all of that is not really what I need. So energy shield is a form of defense. Additional da 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 da, along with armor, evasion, energy shield, three base types, and nope, every class starts with da 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 da. So, base, base lot, no, there's no item bases, uh, item, uh, base, if there's even something like that on the wiki, I don't think so. List of unique, no, 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 okay, maybe I need to go for like, uh, uh, Fix POE ethics, something like that. Oh, come on. PO and E, then there's a POE ethics.net. Okay, that's the one. So, body armor needs, of course, energy shield. Hmm. The vestment. Increased spell damage. Hmm. So, list of unique jewels? No. Ah, uh, time of unique stuff. Probably summon skeletons. No. Um. Let's just go for item. Look for affix. Then there should be the list, hopefully available right now. So we got body armor, energy shield. Uh huh. And there's nothing in that list. That's good. Armor and energy shield also not so much. Body armor in general does. Okay. So we got some reduced movement speed. We got mm, still more movement speed. That, 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 that. Even more movement speed. It's always the reduction because it's, it's, it's heavy. Actually, yeah, because it's heavy. Is that, isn't that supposed to be heavy? Who knows? Yeah, then there's uh, more reduced movement speed, more reduced movement speed, and some increased. The occultist vestment. Yeah. This is an occultist vestment. Exactly. So this one has increased spell damage and a hidden 3% movement speed. Then... Uh, seems to be the best one. But it could have been uh, like 10%. Hmm. Actually, yeah, wait a second. If it could be 10%. Yeah, 3 to 10. <laughs> it's also explained like in the line above. Sweet. It also says FX is 4, two prefixes, two stuff. Oh, nice, nice explanation. So then there's like a hidden movement reduction on the armor thing, whatever that is. Anyway, I'm actually looking for decent bonuses. Then there's the carnal armor, which has a bonus to maximum, ar uh, maximum mana. So there are some armor pieces here. So maximum mana is a specific bonus. Uh, that's pretty ex Yeah, that's just uh, on a certain armor type. The rest kind of reduces your movement speed only. Then there's the Occultist Vestment, which gives you bonus spell damage. But... Oh, wait a second. What are these numbers here? Drop ratios and I think... 500, whatever. EV. Oh, evasion. Ah. Okay. Ah, ha, ha. Good. Now I understand. So, I now need is a sorted list by energy shield. Okay, so the highest energy shield would be on the Val Regalia. Interesting. That's the highest uh, level need, 48 for it. But it's a energy shield body armor only. There are also some combos for it. 160 
What else we got? Evasion body armor, but then there's also like armor, energy shield. Yeah, this is the one that we need. And let's sort it by energy shield. The highest you can get here is full uh, 91 with the saintly chainmail. Actually, sounds like conquest chainmail. Uh, uh, uh. So yeah, conquest chainmail, which is the okay third largest with a value of 75. Alright, so I could get a Val robe. Or like, what was it? What was it? Val regalia. I could get this one. Uh, kind of lose out on the 10% increased spell damage, but I would have some higher uh, energy shield and to work with it. But yeah, 130. This is the Occultist's uh, base value. Is it? Base level 62, max socket 6, total elemental resistance. Neat. I need a little other stuff. Good. Um, uh, it still needs some more than that. And this one needs another... Wow. This one needs another prefix. It's really weird. Really, really weird. Alright. Um, is there any good? Like, the resistances are just trite. Uh, and I was looking for the energy shield. I had 200 something, so no. Can I re-roll that again? Let's try this again. So this is a 71% increase, which is... Uh, anyway. Thing is, it's only a 73, so... Uh, maybe instead of uh, this item, I should go for a blue one. I'm not really interested in the six links themselves, because sometimes it's just better to not use it that way. So yeah, fire resistance and uh, 43. Uh, suffixes. No, if it has three prefixes, I can't put energy uh, shield on it. Uh, that, there's something about the energy shield thing. Uh, yeah, where is it? Uh, there's just energy shield regeneration I could put on it, but no. Uh, so let's reset that again. And now we have increased energy shield, 77%. Nice. And it has two to three prefixes and three suffixes. It actually looks like... Yeah, it, it could be five, it could be six, but I think it definitely is uh, only a five buff item here. With, of course, some fire resistance. <laughs> Oh god. So, 230. Let's Let see. It's, it's slightly higher, so let's just put that on there and get some more energy shield on it. So this is the energy shield, and go. 338. Oh, that's good. And right, let's just uh, compare this. So now we have 2,100. Uh, okay, so we gained 600 energy shield and we lost 120, 140 health and we gained 20, 20 and 500. Okay, 520. So now there's just some slight adjustment I have to do with this. So yeah, Stormcore did uh, like 4000 damage. This will be the spell. Oh, shit. I have to reset its colors because I kind of like the stun threshold on it. Uh, or could I put stun threshold on, like, blood magic or so? Herald? Herald is almost done. And I don't really use the immortal call anyway, so let's put this over here. So. Nice. Uh, concentrated effect. Yeah, kind of neat. This is not the one that I use at the moment, so where is it? Oh yeah, uh, this one goes up here, Glacial Cascade of course over there. And now we deal like 50% of the damage, uh, I have to improve on that. More area damage of course. Now we deal 1000 gain. For the crit or this one. So it's 600 bonus or 400 bonus, so we are going for this one. Alright, uh, and there's also some quality I can put on it. So let's just uh, put some quality on there. Where's the quality? Yeah. And I, sh I should have done that before. Damn it, I'm such an idiot. Wait, it's the wrong one. 
Alright. Whoa. Nice. Okay. I did not lose eye on that much. Uh, the thing is the increased spell. I should have changed that. Uh, from a 6% to something higher. Ugh. Anyway, I can I can just re-skill that, it seems. I could also... Do, I Okay, what do I do with the Chaos Orbs? Do I really buy items now? Um, so using this would be the better solution for me. Uh, this one was 207 and 800 something. And what about my physical resistance? It's down a lot. Uh, yeah, compared to this one. Okay, 7%. Let's just hope that works. <laughs> uh, not quite sure. Alright. And if I if if I take this one on there, we have 1915, but this one has 1919, it's just far greater. So Oh yeah, what about what about my resistance values? Now cold resistance needs to be improved a lot. That's the biggest issue. This one has three prefixes, three prefixes. This one will be the uh, other armor on it, so it's a nice six link, so let's just put that up here. So uh, this one See for a few more alterations. Alright, and this one will be put on the quality third page. And this one will be used only that many times. Same for this one. 